Wardrobe for the Bass True Anglers podcast is brought to you by Basco Fishing. High performance fishing apparel that can be customized to fit your needs. Do you need to showcase your brand? Does your business need apparel? Do you need a tournament jersey? Visit their website at www.bascofishing.com. Well, get those life vest zipped and clips, strap down those rods, and stow away those tackle bags because we are going fishing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Bass to Anglers podcast. I'm your host, Keith Nicewanger, and I hope this episode finds you with five for 25 in your live well. I think you need a little bit more of me in your life. Welcome to the Prove Me Wrong series. The Prove Me Wrong series is an ever-growing playlist of my hot takes on bass fishing related topics where I challenge you to prove me wrong. Spoiler alert, you can't prove me wrong because I'm right. If you like the content that we produce on this channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and share it with a friend, enemy, or just someone you want to annoy. Prove me wrong. The best tournament format in all professional bass fishing is the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Every Fish Counts format, which is accelerated by Score Tracker. I tune in for just about every live stream professional event that I can get, and I do not take for granted that we are able to watch these events in real time. But tell me that once the leaders get their five fish limit, watching these events can be kind of unbearable. At a certain point each day, and lately in the northern events especially, that point has been very early on, the leaders have their limits and there is very little movement taking place. It just becomes very dull. Now, consider a Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour event. Every fish matters, so there's no such thing as limits. At a regular five fish limit event, where we don't know what each angler has, there is a moment when the champion is crowned at the final weigh-in. It's pretty exciting. When we do know how much every angler has in a five fish limit tournament, the weigh-in becomes kind of anticlimactic, not very interesting. At a Bass Pro Tour event, there are multiple must-watch moments that take place all throughout the week's competition. Watching the top 20 cut line, for group A on day two and for group B on their day two is must watch drama. And tell me, can you walk away from the third period of those day two events? I don't think so. Then we have the top eight cut line on the knockout round day. Again, that third period is compelling. That's two and a half hours where you cannot leave your computer, monitor, phone, or whatever device you're watching it on. It's must-watch TV. Then, of course, we have the final day where all the weights are zeroed, and you kind of have to watch all day. Now, some of those events get a little out of hand. I know you got Jacob Wheeler catching over 100 fish or whatever the situation might be, but it's still very compelling, and you add score tracker to it, along with the every fish counts drama and there's no time for a peanut butter sandwich in these events with score tracker in the mix every angler knows exactly what the others have it's by far the most compelling tournament format by the way kayak anglers almost have it right the catch photograph on a measuring board and release format has the makings of an excellent watchable tour format as well. I understand it takes a while to get used to measuring inches instead of weighing pounds, but the technology provided by Tourney X makes these events very compelling. But why a five fish limit? Please, kayakers, take the limits out of fishing. If kayak events would use the Every Fish Matters format, you would really have something. 
The best tournament format in all of professional bass fishing is the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Every Fish Counts format, made even more exciting by Score Tracker. Prove me wrong. You won't. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Leave me a comment if you're not scared. Until next time, keep both hands on the wheels, keep those live vests zipped and clipped, and we'll talk to you again very soon.